Hi, Steve Jones here, president of PaveTech. We've got Bill Schneider from Aqua Paving. Hi, Bill. Aqua Paving Construction, yeah. Well, Aqua Paving, uh, Bill, you've been a leader in the industry for an awfully long time, and especially now today with the permeable pavements that are being constructed in your company, that's your specialty. Right. And one of the most difficult areas that you had to deal with, or have to deal with, is understanding proper base construction. Absolutely. And we know that the in engineering companies agree that your typical nuclear density testing backscatter tests are maybe not the uh, the most ideal testing methodology for for open graded aggregates. Now, in the last 10 plus years, uh, portable falling weight deflectometers such as this unit. Mm -hmm. Um, have become accepted as a normal engineering test to provide guidance on how well the pavement is or, or base is ready for right. for for traffic. Um, you saw this unit at Galabao right. last year. Yeah, when I was there, I actually bought one then. Yes, and um, them in contact with us and. We got a unit in right away so we could bring it and demonstrate it at Hardscape North America. And uh, your unit was never quite operational. No. <laughs> no. It wasn't. So, so w once they, uh, they were looking for a distributor in North America, and uh, we were introduced. And the other than our one little problem with uh, Bill's testing unit that took three plus months to fix, um, we, the equipment is uh, remarkable. Yes, it is. And well, here again, one of the key factors when we did the first permeable job that was done, it was done on dense graded aggregate, it was done on sand and all that stuff. And we switched all that to open graded aggregate and stuff. And when you test open graded aggregates, it tests nothing like dense graded aggregates. And you have to learn about it and how it works and what it does. And amazingly, with all the jobs that we're doing, we go on there and say, this hasn't been compacted properly. And Im immediately, the general contractor says, oh, it's fine, it's great. You just go ahead and install on it. Well, of course, we know what we do is we take pictures. But when I found this in Germany, what I really liked is I can test the gravel. It prints what the, the base is like. And when I send them a letter saying, you know, you're not going to hold me responsible for the pavers rutting or moving because this gravel isn't done right. Not only that, I put a copy of that with it. And I learned you many, many years ago when I started, you better write everything down because they won't take you to court. But if you don't write it down and you don't send them and do all that, they will take you to court and they'll hold you responsible. So this, and I see this as, as the perfect thing to solve those problems and how many people will do it. You think of all the people that are taking jobs from us on this permeable industry, they don't even, most of them don't even compact the, the three quarter inch gravel if it's done by somebody else, but it's when it's next to the curbs, it's never compact. The rollers will yeah. only get within four to six, or yeah, three, three to six inches of that curb because if they get close to it and hit it, it blows it right out. Well, Bill, the problem that we have is that in order for you to use a unit like this and to have the security and knowing that it's accepted by engineers and project owners and so on, is that they have to, that it needs to be properly certified. Mm -hmm. And um, it was quite interesting that after we received our quite expensive units from <laughs> Europe, we have since found out that they expect us to ship it back to Europe once a year for certification. Now to ship a unit like this yeah. back to Europe, back to Germany for their certification, is gonna cost about one third of the entire cost of the unit. Yeah. So there's no reasonable way for us to offer this for sale as a distributor, and there's no reasonable way for an owner of this piece of equipment to keep it in service in a way that people can accept the, the data that it provides. It's unfortunate because we have great respect for the equipment and the design and the implementation of it. So, but we do know that there's a larger company, Zorn, Z-O-R-N, that uh, provides the same type of equipment, 
the same sort of technology, portable falling weight deflectometer, same type of printouts, same GPS tracking, all of those things, plus they have put Kessler Soils Engineering as their distributor and they've set up Kessler as a certification center so that any Zorn units purchased for use in North America can be, can be shipped to Kessler out on the East Coast and they're back up and running in a matter of days to a week. And it's certainly not at, the ex at a tremendous expense of shipping back to Europe. So, unfortunately, um, if I'm going to have to recommend this, equip this type of equipment, there's on only really one option in North America, and that's Zorn, Kessler Soils. Now, maybe someday TerraTest will provide proper certification for their equipment. Right now, I've got a, Bill and I have very expensive bookends. And uh, anyway, this is Steve Jones and Bill Schneider saying, thanks. Yeah. Well, here again, it's all about getting this to work properly, so.